He throwing pebbles at a bulletproof glass. So much faking in the air, I need a mask. New season, and it's time to change the cast. Who gives a fuck if you were with me in the past? Fuck a time difference, you don't make a difference. Niggas wanna talk, but niggas never listen. Since I was a youngin', I've been on a mission. I'm blocking niggas out, they fucking with my vision. This gang gang shit come at a high price. I can't be taking things light like my family nice. Deep inside my girl, it feel like. We global now. We global now. We global now. Can you look at the tapers? Yo, what's good, man? We're back again after a long time. I know it's been a minute. Been sorting out different issues, but we just had to come back and get it straight on the way. So I got my colleague here. I'm gonna do yeah. self introductory. Yeah. Because I don't wanna like misinterpret like what you're gonna bring yeah. to the podcast. Yeah. I just want him to say his introduction. Like yeah, his own introduction. My name, yeah, my name is Ryan Utumi saying this is my very first podcast. Yeah, I'm here to learn. Ah, uh, what I mostly do is writing and like art and shit like that. I'm gonna start something like like a comic book project one day. Damn, that's yeah. deep though. Cause yeah. comics even in Africa be lacking and shit like that. Yeah, man. So like African comics or comics that that are, like like African character based or just comics. Uh I have an open approach when it comes to comic books. I can make like a whole comic book story that is inspired by African culture. So, yeah. But just take place on a world that is just not Earth. But it will have lots of African and elements like, to it. Yeah, because yeah. I feel like whenever like whenever they do the comics, whether it's manga yeah. or whether it's like uh, Marvel or whatnot, they yeah. stick to the script and it's they've got that identity. Mm-hmm. So it has to have that identity. Yeah, like you have like niggas in like loincloth with spears and shit. For real. Yeah, but in another yeah. planet. Yeah, that, like with animals, dope. yeah, and it has like the world has like different biomes and shit. Mm. There's an area where the humans mostly live, and they don't fuck. You know how in African culture we have like myths and shit. Yo, yeah. you don't go over that hill because yeah. there's a fucking snake. Yeah. Go like uh. I agree, no yeah, shit. Yeah. yeah, in this world, there's an actual fucking animal that is shit. like controlling the shit. river and shit. shit. Oh, man. So yeah. the people don't yeah. just fuck with that. No, no, you're still on yeah. your introduction, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, nah, comics is a good area. Now, nah, yeah. continue, continue. That I thing. feel like it's kind of a very affordable. Is it? Yeah, like it's lower budget as compared to if you're trying to make like a full on movie yeah, or something like production. that. Yeah, full production. Yeah, and I feel like if you produce something that is nice, Someone could read it and be like, and approach you and be like, yo, we can make this into something fire. Even, yeah. yeah. Or even get it bought by Marvel itself. Yeah. Yeah, you can get shit like that done. Yeah, Marino, every fear that every artist has is... That, mm. You see, the, every fear that an artist has is that their, their, their baby, their creation their can be corrupted Tent. by another person. You get what I mean? I was watching so the bit saying, saying that I'm going to not be singing anymore after this tape. Just because music has been telling my art the way I think, yeah. so it's better for juice uh-huh. when I do the bars. Because being on the spotlight, yeah. like, is so fake. So I yeah. get it. I get it. Uh-huh. It makes sense. Mm, mm. So, man, you hear the podcast? We call it reroute podcast. Reroute. Yeah. Because oh, we're just focusing on like areas you need to reroute in life. Yeah. Talk about those different the concept and everything like that. Yeah, man. So, I can fuck with that. Yeah. Yeah. So this is all. Arch Nation, we're back. So the topic of the day, being decided some way by someone, was happiness. Yeah. Which made me shocked because I was just there like, and, and this is the topics we should be talking about. Because like when you really talk about happiness, even yeah. if it's self-happiness or happiness to other family members, where does it come from? Like is yeah. it is it like inborn or is it something you learn? I feel like I feel like a lot of people like okay in life we mm. all kind of like get to that point when we are young where life is simple there's bliss and shit yeah. but we all gotta grow up and make that bread at some point and I feel like a lot of people along the way they kind of like guys. yeah they forget the things the small things that made them happy or one. I think it's, that's the economy, dog. Because yeah. how can you be fun when the economy is messed up like that? I also this? feel like, yeah, even mm. niggas that, like, there are niggas that can, like, make it and they'll be rich and successful, mm. but they're not happy. Because also the same thing you're talking about. People want to make comments. 
Yeah. But we don't save space for that here. Yeah. So the thing that should actually make different people happy mm-hmm. is not your available. Yeah. Like imagine if you like manga that much, but Ish. you're being told you need to go to Japan for that shit. Bro, Ish, man, I kind of fucking traveling right now yeah. as a bitch. Nah, like even colonies and even deciding part. like, do I need to be a lawyer, a doctor, or? And or, it's crazy, like, cause when you are young and like you're at twenty years old or so around that age, yeah. your brain isn't fully developed yet. True, yeah. so you might not even know what you yeah. really want to do. And it's do like a life. lot of pressure on, on us and shit. No, that, that makes it sad. Yeah. But again, like... It's a broken system. Like you were talking, like, the way people actually used to be happy when they were kids. Yeah. It actually, there's a big difference because you can see that there was a glitch somewhere. Yeah. Because some of us don't even remember the shit that we did when we were kids. Bro. dog. Do you know that apparently that there's something I curated that adults lose that kids have, apparently? What's that? I don't know. There's just something. I read a study that was talking about, like, how they did some tests on some kids and they showed, like, high potential intelligence-wise mm. and shit. Mm. And then they did, like, similar tests to, that, to the same subject when they're older and they lost something. Shit. Yeah. So I kind of I kind of always view like a youthful kind of like spirit to be very important. Mm. And most niggas they always trying to be hard and shit, trying to be grown. Nigga, are you happy Ish. though? So now the question is what's your definition of happiness? My definition of happiness is if you can like find a groove or a lifestyle that is fulfilling to you. Mm. Like if you do something, if you have a purpose. I feel like have you ever seen like a nigga that does not have a purpose. Mm. They go to work, they they make money, they come home. You see, and we do so many things that we think are gonna make us happy. Like, okay, here's the thing. Asmo, mm. are you allowed to talk about yeah, that? Well, that's yeah, we're allowed to speak about anything here. <laughs> speak about I smoke weed and shit, yeah. Wawan. Mare, I know that I enjoy weed a certain way, Wawan. Yeah. Yeah, when I'm engaging the weed, like talking to people or doing a certain activity. Yeah. Now, some niggas, they just love weed because they love weed. They smoke that shit and they'll do nothing else. And I'm like, bruh, can I, you're, you're losing the point. Wawan, weed Oish. awakens that adventure part of you, Wawan. Yeah. But if you don't engage it, you're That's why you're talking like, about manga, because I'll be yeah. even thinking someone writing down or drawing shit yeah, while it's their high. That shit could make sense. Bro, mm. my friends that do art like that, bro, they'll smoke weed and then they'll just draw some shit. Kind of that's what I used to do when I was young. Like, what I used to do when I was young is mm. I would start a drawing not knowing what I was drawing. Drawing then but I'd see figure later it out on. along the way. I used to do that too. Yeah. I used to do that too. Because to me, the point was about drawing, not necessarily like oh there's this oh and yeah so to me like everything that has to deal with happiness has to come back to you yeah happiness like, can be is found within like and a lot of people like some people even try to look for happiness and shit like relationships and stuff people look, now the problem is yeah. that i discovered personally when you look for it in someone else yeah. And then you get disappointed. Yeah. That's when you understand it. Whoa! It doesn't need to come from anyone else. Yeah. Because if it comes from anyone else, mm-hmm. if they are removed from the picture, if they 